Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Code's YouTube channel. Kaushal this side and I hope you guys are doing well. Today, we'll be taking you through the CSS floats property. In this particular video, we'll see what CSS floats property is and how we can use it in CSS and what it does for us to make our web page look more interactive to the user. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have regular updates on multiple programming videos. So if you are a programmer and if you want to learn something new, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates from Simply Code. So without any further delay, let's get started. Let's discuss what is CSS floats property. CSS float property or CSS floats is a property that allows elements to be floated to the left or right of their container. For example, if we have an image present on the web browser, we can use the CSS float property to either float it to the left, left or we can say we can place it to the left or to the right with the help of this CSS float property. This property is commonly used for creating layouts where elements are positioned side by side or for wrapping text around images. So when an element is floated, it is taken out of the normal flow of the document and positioned to the left or to the right of its container or we can say of the whole document. This can create some layout challenges like as when floated elements are different heights and cause other elements to be misaligned. So a lot of disadvantages this property also have but let's understand this with the help of an example. Let's understand what CSS float property first with the help of an example, a simple example. So what we'll do is we'll try to add an image over here We'll write over here simply code src will use so I have images inside the images folder in my personal laptop and we can use any image now which one which should we use let's use this save it and the size of this image is quite large so we have to manage it and let me just close the image tag so we'll move to the CSS part and we'll use the style tag over here now inside this I'm going to use the element name which is IMG so I'm going to define the width of this image as 200 pixels and the height of this image is 200 pixels save it and here you can see the image is now fine so now the image is of 200 pixels height and 200 pixels width now what we'll do is we'll move this image to the right of a web page so if i increase the size of my browser you can see it is present currently on the left side of the browser so what if i want to move it to the right side of the browser so what i'll have to do is i just have to write here float and I'll write here right so here you can see the images now move to the right side of a browser similarly we can use okay so I'll just cancel it and that's it save it now we'll use the other value of this float property which is left so it will move the image back to left which was the default position of our image right so the float property can take three or four possible values it can take none none which is the default value the element will not be floated when it has left the element is floated to the left side of its container or we can say to the left of the browser then we have right the where the element is floated to the right of its container so when an element is floated it is taken out of the normal flow of the document right and other elements flow around it so this can be useful for creating layouts sometimes but it can also cause issues if not used correctly one of the most common issue or one common issue is that a container element that contains only floated elements will have a height of zero which can cause layout problems so to fix these such type of problems we can use the clear fix technique which involves both adding an empty element after the floated elements and applying the clear both property to it so if you want to see how it works then we have to move here and we have to write a little code so where we'll have to add some what we can say text and an image so image we already have i'm not going to do anything of the about this image 
so i'll just write here this is h1 i'll add a paragraph so let's write here lorem 25 save it and here you can see we have a paragraph now what we have to do is we have to put this image inside the division and just take this paragraph from here put this inside the division after image let's just not use the paragraph tag and let's just put the image and this paragraph inside the division so here you can see now what we'll do is We'll remove the paragraph tag from here as well and just let it be for some moments now we are done with the div tag now to add the clear fix what we can say the clear fix hack or whatever it is what we have to do is we have to write, uh, set the style as clear to write so what we'll do is will write over here just a second what i'll do is i'll just write something like this div class okay div element we are going to access and then we'll add the border border let's say we are adding three pixels solid and violet so here you can see the border now these elements are not aligned exactly equal to each other right so you can see the border it is misplaced the layout is not working properly now what we can do is we can just use what we can use we can give a class over here as okay just do one thing class one just cut it from here we'll add another paragraph fine we'll add another div tag so i'll just write something like this over here to make okay so here you can see we have this line and now what I will do is I'll create a div tag with classes let's say clear because we are going to use the clear property again and then I'll use img okay we are going to take it from here sorry we are going to take it from here we are going to paste it here so here you can see we have another image and now what we'll do is we'll just write here lorem 25 again save it and here you can see we have two similar things present over here right we have already used the div tag now what we'll do is we'll load this image to the left the image is fine now what we'll do is will write here dot clear so this is a class name from here dot clear will write and will write content first save it nothing changes you can see i'll write clear both and display property we are going to write here table save it and here you can see for the one where we used the class as clear it is perfectly aligned now we added the clear fix hack to the containing element to fix this particular problem right so here we have added the clear fix hack and it's present right here in front of you guys and you can see how css floats property is used now the next thing we can do is we can also create a navigation menu using this floats property only so it's an easy task but it takes a lot of time let me just put it here in simple words so we are going to use an unordered list for that what we are going doing basically is we are creating a navigation bar so i'll remove everything from here as well save it and that's it list element will use then we have to use the anchor tag within that let's say home is the first thing fine so here you can see we have a hyperlink we will use similarly four fine and then we'll write here class we'll write here employee 
and we'll write here contact save it here you can see we have four hyperlinks so you can change href for each of them so for now i'm just going to leave it this way only then i'll have to style the unordered list first we'll write here list okay we have to write here list style type as none then we have margin as zero padding as zero and then we have overflow as hidden overflow property we have already been through this property overflow as hidden background color we have to set let's say we are using gray or this color so here you can see a uh, little change on the browser now the next thing we are going to do is we are going to access the list element then i'll write over here float float works and i'll just write over here float left here you can see every element is aligned now horizontally right float we have set to left and every item is auto aligned now the last thing we are left with is we have to style them we have to style every anchor tag so that's why i'll just write here display inline block then i'll write over here color which is font color so let me just write here white so that it's visible here you can see visible text align at the center then we have padding padding is let's say 14 pixels and 16 pixels just to make it look a little better text decoration we are using this property to remove these underlines and i'll just write over here none here you can see the size is quite large if i if i go back to normal window size then this will be the this is the output so we have created almost a navigation bar a basic navigation bar and if you want something like if you want to add some effect just write here hover okay we have to write here hover and just change the background color on hover so let's say if i am writing over here bleach almond here you can see now change the color on hover to so color will change to black save it now you will see white and gray background hover on it black font color and whichever background it is blanched almond so yeah this is how we can use the css floats property although the css floats property comes with a lot of disadvantages but some key points you guys need to keep in mind while using the float property are the float property only affects block level elements floated elements are moved as far as to the left or right as possible within their containers so if you are not using the float property within a particular container then your browser acts like a container so the screen size basically acts like a container if multiple elements are floated in the same direction they will line up horizontally if an element is floated its parent container will not expand to fit its height this can cause layout issues and may require additional css to fix you can clear floats using the clear property which allows you to force an element to appear below any floated element overall css float is a useful property for creating complex layouts and positioning elements within a container however it can be challenging to work with and requires careful consideration to avoid layout issues so the replacement of css floats properties css grids and css flexbox if you guys haven't watched our videos on css grids and flexbox then it is highly recommended to go through those videos so that's all for this video guys that's all for css floats property see you in some other video and if you still have any doubts related to any of the topics we have covered in this particular video then please feel free to drop them down in the comment section below and our expert will definitely answer them for you thank you so much for being here guys keep coding and stay tuned to simply code thank you <laughs>